Hi students, coming to the next topic that is the object oriented design. So what is an object oriented design? Uh, while you are developing any software, uh, if you want to develop the software by using some object oriented programming language, then you need to design some uh, ob concepts that are related to this object oriented design. So the main thing, this object oriented design involves involves designing designing the objects classes and the relationships between the classes relationship between the classes so that explains the object oriented design so if uh, if you are using the object oriented concepts in the program so first you need to design what are the objects that are used in the programs and what are the classes that you are using in this software and what is the relationship between those classes so that you need to be aware before you are going to design a object. So actually the class what is a class a class is, is nothing but it is a blueprint it is a blueprint or you simply call it as a template. A class is nothing but it is a blueprint or template identifies something in terms of its data and operations. It's identify in terms of data and operation. So a class is nothing but it is a blueprint or a template identifies something in terms of data and operation. So then what about the object? Object is nothing but an instance of a class instance of a class so whatever you have taken that uh, concept that is a program that program uh, has to be written in the form of class by using classes and the objects so first you need to identify what are the objects that are present in the uh, program and the classes that are you're introducing so a class is nothing but it's simply a blueprint or a template so which consists of some data and operation so let me explain about the class first let us take television so in the television what are the data and operations so the classes in consisting of data and operations so here is a class tv so what are the operations and data that is present in the class so the data which is a state it data is nothing but a state a data is on off channel volume level represents the data and operations on a class tv that is turn on or off means doing some action operation is doing some action on data so a data is nothing but is state it's not performing any operation so with the help of data the operation is performing turn on or off change channel and change volume okay so this is a class tv consists of set of uh, uh, some data items and operations okay and the object is nothing but that is you call it as instance of a class so actually the object is you call it as a noun then the it is represented as a noun means it's only the name a place a thing whatever it may be that you call it as an object so for that objects we are providing some operations we are doing some operations on that objects by using the class template Now let us see the terms that are used in the object oriented design. The terms that you came across in object oriented design. First is instance variable. Instance variable so what is this instance variable the instance variable is nothing but a data attributes state that are specific to an instance that are specific to an 
instance of object. Next, instance method. Method is also called as a function. Instance method. So, what do you mean by instance method? So, here in the method, we are performing some operations. Operations or a behavior uh, are specific to, to an instance object. Next, class variables. Class variables. So, instance, so this is related to objects and here this coming to the class variables. So, the class variables consist of data, attributes and it explains the states that are not specific. That you have to be noted. That are not specific to an instance. And the next term that you came across in object oriented design is class method. A class method consisting of some, it is going to perform some operations. So that operations that are not specific, that are not specific to an instance. So you have to remember that the instance variables are specific and the class variables and methods are not specific. These are specific and these are not specific. And next is a constructor. The next term that uh, you came across in the object oriented design is the constructors. So constructors is nothing but it is a special method. It is a special methods that create and initialize the object. It is going to create and initialize the objects for a class to perform some operations. So this is about the object oriented design. Thank you.